so this this is just pure curiosity. Yeah. Um, have you ever worked with Taylor Swift? I've never worked with Taylor Swift. <laughs> no, I've never worked with her. I've I've met her a couple of times, and I've been you know in the same shows with her and stuff like at the Grammy Awards and whatnot. But I've never actually worked with her. No. That's still pretty cool, though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> are, you, are you a Taylor fan? Yeah, I love her. What do you think of her new material? Um, I think it's like. Not her best work. <laughs> um, I mean, I I like her, so I'm gonna like anything that she. Comes sure. Out. Yeah, you're loyal, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, I don't think it's her best material. Yeah, so. it's interesting. You know, it's interesting to watch the dichotomy because there's like half of her fans that are going like, "What the hell is this crap?" But then the other <laughs> half is like, "Well, this is great, man. This is like a new. This is a new territory for her. You know, it's a fascinating dichotomy. So yeah, I'm interested to see how it plays out. I like her a lot. I think, first of all, I like her from the standpoint of a, as a businesswoman. I think she's a an, fantastic businesswoman. Um, she she definitely knows how to market herself. Some of the things that she does, you know, stripping all of her social media stuff off for two days and just leaving it blank. Fucking brilliant, man. Like everybody's going, oh, my God, is she dead? What's going on? You know, like it just flips people out anytime she freaking rolls over in bed. You know, she's really, really good at it. So... And, her, and, you know, obviously you can't argue with the fact that, you know, especially, you know, maybe what you're thinking, too, is, is kind of what I think is her, her past songwriting acumen is just incredible. I mean, to write the songs that she, she wrote as a 15, 16, 17 year old young woman, it's pretty, pretty phenomenal. So it's interesting to watch her career. You know, she's a good barometer for like the top, top, top tier of what's happening. And then everything under that is, you know, niche, niche oriented. So it's, it's interesting. Well, I feel like it's really good that like she's changed so much. Like, yeah. Changed. I feel like that's. Well, you know, this is interesting. I mean, this is actually kind of a cool thing to talk about because, you know, what is she? Do you know how old she is? I don't know how old she is. No. Um, she's like 25. 25. Yeah. Started when she was like 18. Right. Yeah. Yeah. She's been doing it for like 10 years, I think. Um, and 25 is freaking god craig we're so fucking old dude <laughs> no, man, no. 25 is you guys are babies man like it and i mean that respectfully you have the best positioning of anybody in the music business because you're young and you have time you know and if you don't get in a hurry and you just take your time and you find your way you find your voice and you're really careful about you know what you say yes to and what you say no to Mostly what you say yes to. Don't say yes to too many things. Say no more than you say yes, you know? And I know that's probably contradictory advice to what you've heard. Oh, you got to say yes to every gig, blah, 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 blah. I don't believe that's true. I think you say yes to the things that make sense for you, you know? Check your heart and your soul against the things that are being presented to you. And if it just doesn't feel right, something's just fucking off about it. Like something's just not... Just like, ah, I don't know, you know, like I've been thinking about it for three days and I still have this check. Don't do it. Just do the things that you know resonate with you immediately and just are like, uh, hell yeah. I always say like, I don't, I don't, I say no to a lot of yeahs and I only say yes to hell yeahs. Like, you know, like if I'm super into it and it super grabs me from the top, from the get, like I'm into it and let's go and let's do it. And Taylor Swift is somebody to really look at, whether you like her or not, it doesn't matter. I'm not talking about the quality of her output. I'm just talking about how she handles herself as a creative. Um, she can afford to fuck up every once in a while. She's 25. You know, if this album, if nobody likes it and it's a dud and it just, what, what you made me do, look what you made me do. You know, like if nobody's into it, you know, if everybody's like, what the hell? That's okay. She's got 50, 60, 70 years to put out however many records she wants to put out. She's going to redeem herself. Trust me, if, if everybody thinks this is a dud, the next single could turn it around instantaneously. I've seen it a million times. So you just got to keep going and moving forward. And now's the time for you to do that because you're young. You don't have very many responsibilities. Some of you do, and that's okay. But a lot of you don't. 
A lot of you are footloose and fancy free. You can live anywhere you want. You can go anywhere you want. You can leave home. It, it's going to be hard. It's not going. I'm not saying it's easy. I'm just saying that you have the opportunity to do that when you get older and you start getting a family and you got some kids and now oh, a mortgage. Oh shit! Now I got to go work at a freaking job and I'm a freaking cubicle and yada yada yada. You know, it gets way harder. So now is the time for you to just make as many mistakes and try as much crap as you can try. And if it doesn't work, it's okay because you're young. It doesn't matter. And nobody's watching you now anyway. That's the best part. Like, you don't have eyeballs on you until you're successful with something. And so you can fail and make all the mistakes and no one's ever going to know. So it's a really great time. And she's a great model to look at. You know, she's made a lot of dumb moves. I mean, she really has. She's made a lot of dumb moves. She's, you know, written some songs about it. You know, and and but it doesn't matter because she's so young, you know, so youth, youth is a hugely valuable asset that people I know. I know that people put you down and you don't know anything and you're an idiot. And you're young. Oh, wait till you're older and you blah, blah, blah. It's bullshit, man. You guys actually have the better position on all of us and you need to use it. Mm -hmm.